Hey everybody, this is Erin from Don's Appliances and today we're gonna to be talking about the differences between a front load washer and a top load washer. Since we're already right here, we're gonna start with the top load. So one of the things that people kind of, I think, gravitate to with a top load is that it's something that they're used to. When people come in and they ask, what do I like personally? It really doesn't kind of depend on what I like, it's more so what you as the consumer likes. If you're used to a top load, go with the top load. They make them now without an agitator, so if you want that kind of gentler wash action like you get on the front load, you can now get that on the top load. So we're looking at the Speed Clean right here, and the first thing that I think you know kind of can be a little bit of a disadvantage, especially for something like a Speed Queen or one with an agitator, is sometimes they're a little bit smaller. So if you have a big family, things like that, maybe the direction if you wanna go top load, you'd wanna look at one with an impeller like you see here, because they typically are gonna be a little bit bigger. The nice thing too is that you are going to get a little bit more of a gentler clean on the units that don't have a full agitator. But if you have kids who roll around the dirt or complete dirt balls like mine can be sometimes, he's seven months, give me some credit. This is gonna be perfect for you because it's really gonna work out any of those stains, any of that dirt and really kind of work to get that out. The second thing I think too, what I always recommend when looking at them is focus on to the options and the cycles. If you're the kind of person that nine times out of 10, you're gonna put them on, you know, normal, cool, start. Maybe you don't need something with a lot of bells and whistles, but if you want a lot of care from your clothes, what's nice is that they've taken that front load kind of control panel and moved it over to a top load. So you can still get a lot of those kind of different cycles and options to really get the true care that you're looking for for your clothes. Now we're gonna jump over here and we're gonna talk a little bit about the front load. So one thing I like about the front load is, like I said, they're kind of taking that agitator out so it's a lot more gentle on the clothes. I don't have to worry about spaghetti straps or anything like that getting caught and kind of ripping or tearing. It's just gonna be a lot more gentler. It's gonna kind of have the water move through the clothes in an agitation motion like this versus like this. One of the disadvantages that I have found with a front load is it is very low. I am not the tallest person in the world, so it's not terrible for me, but for somebody who's 5'7 and above, even somebody who's my height at 5'3, I would recommend adding on a pedestal. It's gonna add about 15 to 15 and a half inches, so it's gonna raise it probably about to here, but you don't have to lean over as much. So when you're getting those clothes out and putting them in the dryer, it is, in my opinion, adding that pedestal is going to be a lot easier. As far as your cycle options, it's going to be kind of, you know, based on the machine of what kind of options and cycles you're gonna get. So you really have to kind of, you know, kind of take a look, think about what you do in your laundry, what is beneficial for you, stop into one of our showrooms, take a look. Our salespeople are excellent and they're gonna help guide you through what cycles are best for you and what options are best for you. As always, take a look to see what we have in stock and visit donsappliances.com.